In the words of Helen Keller, uh, alone we can do little, and together we can do much. When my oldest daughter, Katie, was young, she loved the book series called A Series of Unfortunate Events. It was supposed to be a sad story about a group of orphan siblings who had the misfortune of being forced to live with an evil uncle. The name of the book makes me think of how our lives often seem, a series of unfortunate events, at least at first. I always knew I wanted to go to a Catholic college, but when I found myself pregnant at age 16, I knew that the path I had planned may not work out the way I thought. We make concessions, adjustments, and based on the circumstances that life puts us in. I took a different path by marrying and then eventually having eight children over a period of 30 years. When the marriage ended, I wondered if my life was over, at least how I thought it would be. But then I remembered a promise I made to myself a long time ago. I at least had to try. It was not a hard decision to come to Newman University. I used to drive by late at night when I'd get off work on my way home. Sometimes I would just sit in the parking, empty parking lot and look at the buildings, wondering what it would be like once I was an official student. I felt so proud to be a part of an institution that represented so much hope and aspirations. But what meant even more to me than an exceptional education was the foundation upon which it should be built one of fidelity and faithfulness to Christ and his mission for our lives. I wanted to be a part of something that stood for righteousness and holiness. I wanted to be proud to say, I belong here. To my surprise, what I found were individuals who not only wanted to impart their knowledge to me, but more importantly, to soak in the truth that regardless of what has happened in my past life, I have something good to offer the world. They helped me to see through their eyes what I could not see in myself at the time. Watching me achieve my goals gave them the affirmation they needed to inspire them to continue to reach out to others. That is exactly how life is supposed to work, a never-ending cycle of blessings given and received. What is your series of unfortunate events? We all have them. Maybe yours is yet to be written. The Bible is full of them, and they all have one thing in common. The ability to overcome adversity is not accomplished alone. We all help one another by selflessly giving our love and support. God knew we would need this. He knew we would need it so much that he didn't leave us alone. He came down here to show us himself how much we mean to him. Don't let your series of unfortunate events hold you back from what you were meant to be. There are many people out there who want to see you succeed. God wants to see you succeed, and so do I.